Steve Henry and this is High Sierra Fly-In 2022. <laughs> okay. Well, we made it to High Sierra, dead cow, dry lake. Beautiful weather, beautiful weather forecasted for the entire event that we're here. We're one of the first here. There are a few guys, Kip Quinn and those guys are out there flying right now on their mountain tops, but Steve's getting ready to start the motor up for the first time uh, here and go take it for a test flight. So our friends should be showing up here soon, next few days, we're hoping, maybe today, later today. And uh, today's Wednesday, so we're, we're still a little early. Tomorrow's when everybody's really expected to arrive. I'm, I'm still in Yeehaw 6 down here, the one I've been flying for about four years. We do have Yeehaw 8, the new XL Highlander built, and but I've only got about two hours on it, so it just wasn't ready to bring down here. But 6 is, it's, it's always been just awesome and it's just working better than it ever has really and uh, I'm, I've been flying better too I've been really working at the flying Hal just landed hi Hal <laughs> welcome to dead cow <laughs> yeah there aren't too many here huh not yet <laughs> not yet maybe the, they'll come trickling in I guess you know are we loaded here yeah we're loaded <laughs> we're loaded the essentials all kinds of good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this is my house. <laughs> this is nice. <gasps> Baby on his rig. <laughs> mm. All right, what do we have here? One wheel trailer? Cooler trailer. Oh, okay. Yeti, Yeti goes right in it. Oh my, this is awesome. Um, Alright. <laughs> oh yeah. Here's delivery. What? What do we have here? Can't believe my eyes. We see Josh on a one wheel. First time since knee surgery. I just did a 52 second run. That way we can clean it. So the mount is the issue? Yeah, so the mount came through, cracked underneath, and boop. They're off to fix my intercooler. It's nice having Josh that knows how to weld and do things like that. And then uh, Fabian, Fabian is over here from Switzerland, and he's just looking for something to do to help us or help anybody. So he's taking Josh to it Reno to like fix it. We had to go to Reno to fix it welding issue last year. We did on our exhaust header. I don't know what it is about High Sierra and welding. Maybe it's because it's the last event. Maybe we should bring our welder to High Sierra next time. Yeah, I think Josh said, did mention that. We did mention it. We've talked about it several times. There they go. Do you know how to get there? Uh, no, but it's over through that saddle. <laughs> Who is that? Michael Gullion. Oh. Great step. Just gotta get used to the cup. We'll probably come back that way. Made it. Bruce Katie flew. We rode dirt bikes. Yep. Oh, what is over here? It's so fast when you fly in. Just, oh, oh my watch. What? That snake you stepped on. 18 mile dirt bike ride on the road. Oh yeah, I've been at that part of the yeah. Nice. We made it. You, you, you can't hear a thing about the water. Oh, and maybe one airplane. <laughs> You've been buzzed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we're here at Aviation Classics. They're nice enough to let us use their welding station. It's so awesome how everybody just helps out when somebody's in need. So. Super cool, so we're gonna tear this center cooler apart. Looks like, looks like parts are falling, which is why we gotta fix them, because uh, we need them to not fall. Um, so we're gonna work on that. So, yeah, so there we go. So what does the Formula One engineer think about our cowboy, cowboy style? Awesome. <laughs> See if it works.
That's much stiffer than it was. Yeah, maybe better than it was. Thanks to Fabian here, thank you for all the engineering advice. <laughs> this is a Formula One techniques now. Now it is. But what was your name? What did you meet? JP. JP, nice to meet you. Nice With to meet this you. beautiful new airplane yeah. that you can't talk about because, well, you can only talk some about. There's something that's lying here. What the hell is that? That's weird. I think someone lost a part. I guess we gotta take this back to Steve, whoever that is. Number 44, I don't know what that means. But, um, yeah. Looks like an intercooler or something. We'll take it with. We, uh, got the lost part. That's number 44, right? 44. We're doing it. Are you Steve? I um, found this on the ramp in it's dead and it's Well, wow. So I'm guessing that's yours. Pretty cool, yeah. Thank you. I hope I didn't poke any holes in it. <laughs> it, looks, it looks better than it did last time I saw it. It's good. I'm glad I found it because it was just lying there randomly. Yeah, I'm so glad weird. you did too. Thank you. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> good eyes. So, where's Josh? They're driving. <laughs> so I just put it back for you. Get it, get it a bit earlier. Thank you. This was a Josh skid, I'm sure. <laughs> So we just went up to Outlook, which is a famous mountain top landing spot here by Dead Cow. I went up with Bruce and wow. So cool. We watched the sunset. Thank you, Bruce, for taking me flying. I just can't quit smiling. <laughs> What you doing? Well, I'm filming some skydivers. Skydivers? Yeah. Got some good news out here in the desert. The food truck finally, finally arrived. By now we can all agree it doesn't even matter what's on that food truck, we're eating it. So we're hungry. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Not this year, we just said. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want that on tape. Yeah. We'll find out later what they just said. <laughs> Very soft. He'll open his eyes, yes. What a baby. Yeah, he's softer on yep. that side. Now we have the professional yep. photographer. There in he there. is. Come on, Dodo, you gotta get closer to me like so, this. So, oh, touch your lizard. <laughs> touch your no, lizard. Touch it. Nope. Just touch it. Just, just one finger. You just can one handle finger. this. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, brother. Oh, so good. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. The Here one and only. We're at the top of the compensator. Finally. Seeing up for everybody. They took off pretty fast the other day. I thought, well, huh? Oh, you're not kidding. Yep, we found the camp. This is the camp. <laughs> we found it. Call baby mama. Calling baby mama. Mobile. She'll love that. <laughs> Crash Fire Rescue is doing a drill on how to get somebody out of the plane quickly. And Bruce, we're using Bruce's plane. Bruce is the, what would you call yourself? The victim? The victim. <laughs> He's the injured victim. But we know it's made up because they said it was a hard landing and that didn't happen. <laughs> Oh no, they said the hard landing was because there was smoke in the cockpit, so we'll give them that. 
So they're just gonna practice doing their drill. Here we go. Fire's out. Fire's out. All right, Yamura. Thank you. How you doing, Bruce? How you feeling? You got anything going on in here? Don't drop him. I would really like to give a special thanks to Aero LED or Aero LED uh, for their help on this event and uh, also Flying Eyes. We, you know, we got the Flying Eyes glasses, which I love. They're, they're the most comfortable glasses I've ever had, especially for flying where they're so good with a headset. And I got to test out my new flying eyes under a Bose headset because Bruce Graham took me flying. It's so fun. And I think it's so cool that you went. <laughs> Usually he's in race mode, so he doesn't go play fly at these events. So it was fun to go play fly with Bruce. <laughs> if you're interested in getting some flying eyes, you can use our link in the description and get 10% off with code Yeehaw. Yeehaw. All right. You're ready. Oh, good. Who's the famous people? Uh, Trent Palmer, uh, you. Steve Henry. <laughs> Trent Palmer and Steve oh, Henry? Steve, good to meet you. Nice. Noah. Noah. What's your name? Sider. Uh, I just came here to play. Like, it's so fun. Well, it's yeah. cool having you out here. Yeah, thanks. It's good to be here. Yeah, and how you. long have you been doing this for? Since it started. You did. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's awesome. Eight years, flying about 18 years, I guess. I got a wow. late start. You did? Yeah. yeah. I was an old guy when I started. That's cool. And you, were you like racing stuff as a kid? Yeah. Motorcycles? Yeah. Always yeah. racing. I can tell. I can tell. That's so cool. Let me see FPS. Excuse me. You guys know how many guys it takes to do this? <laughs> Eleven. More than three. More than three? <laughs> <laughs> So how was it, Steve? Good. It's good. I've only I've only been in an RV one other time I can think of. So a lot different. A lot faster than I usually get to go. <laughs> Our main purpose and goal here at Wild West Aircraft is selling these Highlander and Super Stroll kits to people and uh, helping them get get the kit ordered. So it's best for you for for the guy that's going to be flying it you know are you going to be really into off airport stuff or just landing on grass strips high altitude low altitude we'll help you get a, a kit and get it really set up good for the way you want to fly it we also make certain accessories for them if people are interested in putting the yamaha engines on we make motor mounts and some other little things uh, coolant tanks and things like that and uh, header tanks no matter what kind of an engine you have on your airplane our header tank is it's pretty nice. It adds some range and to me it adds uh, some safety factor because you can really tell how much fuel you have when you start getting really low. You're not guessing. super fun. Kevin Quinn, Bruce Graham, and Bill came flying out here. Uh, I'm in the back seat of Bill. Just landed on, I don't know the name of this. They have names for all of them. First of all, this doesn't look like enough runway, but it is.
Hey. Stole drag guidelines in particular, you fly the designated track on your market set go. I give you a three, two, one, see ya, and off you go. Usually on about three, two, that engine revs up, one, see on the arm drop, you take off. And you fly down 2,000 feet as you practice in your airplane. Well, it's race day today. We got our, all of our practicing and qualifying done. And now they got the bracket set up. If we're going to push out here in just a little bit, they've split it into basically gold, silver, bronze. And uh, there's going to be a lot of close races. There's not really anybody close to me. So what I'm kind of racing with is I've got this time that I would like to beat and it's going to be really hard to do, but I want to hit 50 seconds. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm 52 seconds. It's, I had four 50 second, 52 second runs yesterday. So two more seconds is a lot. So it, it, it'd be, I'll be surprised if I hit 50 seconds out here today. Cause for one thing, it's not the cool morning anymore. It's going to be pretty warm and uh, it definitely makes a difference. It's gonna be fun, but there's a lot of people. It's not as many as last year, but there's still a lot of people. I mean, look at the line out there. I mean, the airplane's working awesome. It's just the Highlander is flying so good. The engine's running great. Had a little help with tuning and got it running better, really better than it ever has. And I'm flying harder. I've been really, I've been working on my flying. Thanks for coming out, Josh. And who are you and what do you do out here? Well, I'm Josh Richling. I do a little bit of everything. Uh, crew chief with uh, Steve Henry, number 44. Here with Sarah Henry here filming us. Uh, and we're happy to be here. Thank you everybody for coming out. We really appreciate it.
engine falls. Good job, Dad. <laughs> I did it. Uh, it made me sweat it out there. Yeah, what happened? I don't know, but it wasn't. When, when I raced hell on the turnaround down there, I went to turn. Well, for first thing, I had no nitrous like yeah. I thought I did. So that was hurting me on the turnaround, but no big deal. You know, I wasn't going to set my record time, but no problem. But anyhow, it ran really bad. I got on the throttle and it's like. Bah, 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 bah. Tell and I, I backed out of the throttle and it cleared up and it just blew back like half throttle, less than half throttle. Yeah. So you heard me at the line there. Oh, you didn't? Uh -uh. Oh, yeah. I got in and I was like, Oh, yeah, I heard that. Because we were gonna, they were going to do a some tricky thing on me, which would have been fun, but I'm like, Kevin, this thing isn't running right. I don't know. I, I, what tricky thing? They were going to give Bo a great big head start. Oh, no. <laughs> which would have been really fun. But it's like, I can't throw this away over a goofy thing when it's not running. I know it's not running right. I'm going to be slow. I just don't know how slow. Well, good job, Dad. Thank you. Have you everybody seen the, the Dead Stick takeoff that has had over 2, 3 million views now on YouTube? He's the, what I consider the very, 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 very best stole, traditional stole, stole drag pilot in the world. Well, where's my buddy, Steve Henry? Get your butt out of here, buddy. <laughs> World champion, 2022, our world champion, Steve Henry, right here. Thank you, buddy. Steve's taking home. He's taking home. Well, we got to put the belt on him. He's told me, he says, I don't want to wear that belt. He's got to put the belt on him, Johnny. All right, dude, you got to do it. All right. You got to do it. Got the trophy still. <laughs> the Stole Drag Trophy, which all have listed all of our champions on that over the last seven years. Give, that's not you. You're not the champion. Give it to, give it to Steve. And now he's also got a $6,000 Breitling watch. Congratulations, Steve Henry. I can't hold it on. Thank you. Steve, you got to stand for a picture with this beautiful band. This is Steve Henry, our grand champion. Hands down, best stole pilot in the world. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Tell these guys about how much you love flying stole, all things stole. Oh yeah, I do love it. It's it's just fun. It's challenging. You, you know, you get to meet so many cool people. We've been flying all over the, or we've actually been driving all over the country with our airplane and our trailer. We used to fly all over the country, but the last couple of years have been put in the trailer. And there's just so many cool people. That That's probably the best part, but you know, just finding some new place to land that's challenging. I mean, I've landed on places where my legs are just shaking when I get done landing. It's like, that's where I got the yeehaw. I'd land and I go, yeehaw. I'm like, I made it. I'm alive. <laughs> anyway, yeah, still flying is awesome. Stole drag is my favorite. Just thank you all for being here. Thank you, Steve. This is your belt, buddy. You're taking that home with you, whether you like it or not. Okay. You got to bring it back. That trophy comes back with that belt next year. All right. Thank you for coming, mister. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you guys. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. We're going to give away some...